We are back to tracking the tropics tonight. Tropical storm Dorian weakened last night, but it may be trying to make a comeback. CBS 4 meteorologist Jeff Berardelli has the latest details for us. He's watching the weather wall. How's it going, Jeff? A blushing bride ready to be married in two weeks thrown overboard into the Hudson when their boat crashed into a barge Friday night. Now authorities in New York say they have found the body believed to be the best man who was also thrown into the water. Yesterday, they found the body of the bride to be. Tonight, her fiance and three friends are in the hospital. Police have charged a friend of the couple, Jojo K. John, with vehicular manslaughter and vehicular assault. Authorities say he was driving the boat while intoxicated. Now to a deadly bus crash in Indianapolis. A group of teenagers returning from a church camp on Saturday when the bus hit a wall and flipped onto its side. Three people died. Police have identified them as a youth pastor and his pregnant wife who was due next month. The third victim was a mother of five. She was a chaperone on the trip. Dozens were injured in that accident, including many children. Hey, Natalia, do you wear glasses? I don't, actually. Perfect eyesight, right? Uh, not perfect, but you rock those stylish glasses. Well, those of us who do are paying <laughs> way too much for our specs. Some of us, though, are going over to optometrists for good deals. We'll take one look at Brian's stylish specs, and you'll know some prescription glasses can be pricey. <laughs> but some glasses are selling online. Hold on, let me put them back on because I'm as blind as a bat. For as little as seven bucks. Did I read that right? Seven bucks. And we were wondering, well, how do they measure up?